one. So just also a bit of history about this radio station. You know when the pandemic hit us uh, two years ago, it was also my first few months here in the Petla Carlota. And I guess it was Mayor's first few months as city mayor. So back then, we were into uh, solving problems. How can we continue education since there are no more face-to-face -face classes? So the first thing that we partnered with Mayor actually was that of the Parents Teachers Association under the leadership of Sir Wilbert Solina. So we're having our advocacies there every now and then. Our school heads take turns in having their announcements. But unfortunately, uh, that was not uh, pushed through until the opening of the school year. And so came another proposal which we proposed to you, Mayor. I think that was sometime in June 2020. And I'm so happy that Mayor is one with the Department of Education in continuing education. So we have already presented to Mayor that uh, we will be having the modular. That's, I think, 90% of our learners would be modular. Others, we go for TV-based instruction, which is not feasible. We we'll go for online learning. And so Mayor is asking me, ano na yung matabo? Iyan po modula. So, we, that's why this uh, radio-based instruction came into existence as presented and conceptualized wherein our students would get to the listen to the radio and that should be supposed to be partnered with what is in the module. So, while listening to the TV, to the radio-based instruction, the learners would be going through their module. And so, we've got a lot of Challenges encountered then for the first uh, for the first year, but things went out right uh, during the second year of the pandemic. So, I love you, Mayor. I think this is not just a message of support that I will be giving tonight, but more so a message of gratitude, a message of appreciation, not only Mayor for this radio station that you have provided for them, Ed, but for all the support. One among the many things that you have given to the pet, especially during the time of the pandemic. So on behalf of my Deped family, uh, more as I've said, more than a message of support, uh, is a sincere gratitude and sincere appreciation for what you have done for the pet. And looking forward, Mayor, for more support in the coming school year. Thank you very much. And God bless us all. It started sa pandemic time no? we were discussing sa school board nga paano umabuligan pagkita nga itong estudyante mag-learn sa ilang lesson instead of just reading the modules distributed every week we thought that it would be better for them nga kinanlan may mabatian na sila or may mabatian sila nga may study na on air so we decided the school board under your leadership uh, in Gabit Namon Special Education Fund to put up the radio station as part of the blended learning blended, um, uh, teaching modalities at the time of the pandemic no? radio based instruction no? uh, nagkuha kami permit sa ETC until now pending uh, Ipunta lang nga ano, nanay sa division office. Dapat ito kami building, in transfer na po. And then after that, in preparation sa mga ito yung full implementation sa face-to-face -face classes, as uh, informed to me by Dr. Alipuyo, come November, in preparation for that, we are transitioning, no? Ang layo sa paglilang nalipad ko, Ma'am Mary Ann Berte, no? Thank you for supporting our Public Information Office. Uh, in, for the benefit of the transition period, no? Okay, okay, inform ko kami ni Ma'am Mary Ann nga, by November, full implementation na sa face-to-face na doon, no? So, they will not be using any more radio-based instruction. 
instead of full na face to face na no? so in transition in preparation for the transition uh, the school board under their leadership have initiated nga ma-under na management sa aton public information office and then of course by Ma'am Carmela probably after that siguro kung mag-full na natin nga under sa LGU kasi pangitaan na namun space diri sa LGU this thing will continue no? 104.9 depende na no? kung ano ang frequency ihatag sa NTC apa na pumal of our permit kaya ginatang apply kami sa LCU na sumung nag-apply ang permit and then nasa DepEd no? so this this would be a part of the public information office headed by Carmela no? so lagi na actually ang nagsawag ito na may kalayo ang mundo ang hindi ka pwede ka angkor kung hindi ka kabalo sa to <laughs> okay hindi ka pwede So, first of all, you should start learning ang moves sa kato mga fire dancers. Likewise with the Philippine Army. No? Initially, may programa ko to every Saturday. No? Pag-start sa kato radio station, namutungin na, gini-present ako na sa akong programa mga sanon. No? But then, tumuod sa very hectic schedule. No? Sa chief executive, i-give up ko na ang akong na time slot. No? So we need more uh, media practitioners nga mag-involve sa aton nga radio station. Okay, later on, by November, as what I have explained earlier, nga ang DepEd, Jutay nga, mag-amag Jutay ang ilang na time slot nga ma-offer. So we need more ang core siguro nga mag- uh, libre maning, huwag maning malaydan, no? It's an LCU-sponsored radio station. Uh, in addition, nira, sa aton niya, may lakarlota sa aton niya Facebook page, amun ni siya. No? Kaya like on air, ka like sa uh, social media ng trompa lakarlota. No? So, halos tanan na aton niya, uh, I have already instructed Carmela, nga uh, iban na doon nga mga offices diri sa La Carlota kinan part ng city for example kaya kita ka atas like at times lang nga ato nga uh, social services department ang ato nga city agriculture office no para sa mga farmers na to more are coming no kaya di interactive pwede, pwede sa ka text pwede sa ka social media ka pamangkot sa ato mga department and later on No. Matamat na po din po para ng atong programming, no? Thank you for the support. Uh, Dr. Nerian kay Dr. Libuon sa DepEd kay Rodnit, no? Hindi lang ani si Rod Mayo magtrabal sa radyo ko ni Mayo pa sa bansao, no? Hoping, no? Hoping. I'm praying pagit, no? All of us are praying that next year ma Celebrar na ta sa atong pasalamat after two years or three years nga hayal ko sa atong for a pandemic na ito, no? Mag-opera lang kita tanan, no? For example, atong vaccination drive, no? So, kung mag-opera yung tanan, going, going na ta to the new normal, no? Mabalik kita gurong pasalamat na ito, mga fiestas na ito sa barangay, okay? So... Excited kita na, ako nga excited, pinapagabati ko na masahot na kami. Dr. Berne, masahot, yung si Ma'am Ben. Excited na kami, no? For next year, everybody is excited. Okay? So, thank you again sa inyo pang support sa ato niya, public and uh, pang support sa ato ng Trump Alam Ardota, no? So, subong 104.9 ang ato niya frequency. Okay? Tune in, okay? ma influencing ang atong program, may mga music, mga infor na information kag entertainment na to. This will be the number one radio station siguro, no? Eh kalabanan sa atong FM to hindi makalapot dire, no? Except ini. Ang coverage si ni is 50 watts si ni, a 500 watts. 500 watts ni lapot man sa dulit. No? So bilog na lang ang lokal lapot si ini, no? So
So kung may ara mo na later on, basi ibang panawagan ka po, pwede diri. No? So later on, this will be the source of correct information para sa akong day na sudan. Not just to social media, but from here. Okay? So thank you again for your support.